good day friends i'm extremely delighted to be invited to this event and i am asked to speak about climate change a subject very close to my heart in 2017 august i was invited by the national institute of climate change studies based in kottayam to speak to the lawmakers at the kerala legislative assembly in trivandrum and i agreed there were more than 80 mlas and half the cabinet the chief minister and also the speaker there speaking to them i said it is my job to go around the world in situations of disasters i have been to virtually every major disaster of 21st century from the tsunami 2004 in indonesia sri lanka maldives thailand all the way to tanzania cyclone nargis in myanmar wenchuan earthquake the big tsunami in japan the earthquake in haiti the floods in thailand and so on and so on i can keep listing them i told them that increasingly the majority of the disasters we have to deal with the united nations have to deal with is one way or the other linked to climate change it could be a drought it could be a flood it could be a cyclone or a forest fire but clearly it has a climatic link i then mentioned that as a malayali as someone from kerala the last thing i want to do is to come back to kerala in an official duty to deal with a disaster that's the last thing i want to do it was therefore very useful to talk to them before a disaster actually precipitated because going around the world for last 30 years seeing disasters i knew that disasters can happen anywhere at any time and most of the people assume at a very individual level as well as collectively that disasters are something which will happen to other people and we will be there to help them so till 2018 flood was something which happened in chennai or uttarakhand or new delhi thailand and we will all try to help them this was our mindset but 2018 changed that starting all the way from june when the flood started rising in kutanad into the big flood in august we saw a massive generational event the biggest flood of the century and suddenly we understood that climate change is for real scientists have been talking about climate change since 1970s in 1980s the research accelerated and the united nations formed the intergovernmental panel on climate change which is a body which review all the research work on climate change and produce consolidated reports and a summary for policy makers and they have been producing reports after reports the first report of ipcc the second report of ipcc in between they have been bringing out special reports as well so ever since its first report ipcc has been telling there is climate change 
there is no denial about it amazingly 25 years later there are still people who don't believe in climate change and i am telling you that to think that climate change is unreal is totally nonsensical and climate change is not something of the future climate change is here and now the world is fla- facing climate change all the way from the arctic to the sahara desert the footprints are everywhere so let's take the thought that climate change is somehow not real and climate change is an issue of the future out of our mind the second question people have been asking are we responsible are human beings responsible isn't there a global geological cycle by which climate change come there have been ice ages mini ice ages when climate go when temperature go up and temperature go down of course they do there have been global climatic cycles but based upon the available scientific research ipcc has concluded that there is no doubt that there is a discernible human footprint on the ongoing climate change this climate change is brought out by human beings by unleashing the fossil fuel linked greenhouse gases into the atmosphere since the first industrial revolution so yes climate change is real yes humans are responsible for it the third question people have been asking can we do something about it okay there is climate change okay it is human induced for last 300 years we have been consuming fossil fuels we released lot of greenhouse gases and the climate is changing but isn't the climate so global isn't the climate climatic system so vast much beyond what the human beings can do something about it and the scientists have answers to that as well we can do something about climate change and we should and the scientists have been telling this again and again in copenhagen in 2008 the world probably came very close to acting in a very decisive manner on climate change of course the climate change agreement the un framework on climate change was established in 1992 the kyoto protocol was established in 1997 but was, but it was in copenhagen where big countries started to come the head of states and major decisions were started to be taken but unfortunately these agreements did not translate into real reduction in climate greenhouse gases even if you were to do everything which the scientists tell now of course there will still be a lag between when the climatic trend will reverse so every year we delay in agreeing every day we delay in actioning it is adding that much time to the already existing lag which will always be there 2015 the paris agreement came probably the best deal we have achieved so far in paris the world community was trying if we could reach to agree on 1.5 degree rise in global temperature by 2100 we could not get that i think the agreement eventually was about 2 degrees but with an aspiration to go down further even with 2 degrees there will be changes it is not that we can do business as usual live live as usual change our greenhouse gases and climate will be fine no there would be impact already at 
two degrees. But though that two degree is something that the human race can deal with and can adapt to. Beyond that, what forces will be unleashed? What about disasters will come upon us? And how fast it will come upon us? And whether our generation will be able to do and act that fast to catch up with those challenges. And that's why two degrees was taken and 1.5 as an aspiration. Now we are going through the period of Corona crisis. It started in China in December 2019. By April 2020, it has engulfed the entire world. Of the 7 billion people in the world, there is nobody who was not touched by the Corona crisis. Of all the 193 UN member states reported Corona. 101.5 billion people, billion students had their education interrupted. You know about it. 1.7 billion people had their jobs interrupted in some way. Some lost their jobs. Many started to work from home. Many started losing their full-time job and to take up other jobs and so on. Tremendous global impact. But if there is one thing which Corona taught us is that when nations, societies and individuals are faced with real threats which they understand on their face, they can act very fast individually as a society, as a country. They can accept almost any restrictions. Many countries had 21 day lockout. Some countries, people could not even go outside their homes in apartment blocks, in their single flats. People could not go out. People accepted those restrictions because they understood the challenge. They understood what's the consequence of not acting to those instructions. Even though 30 years have passed since we started talking about climate change, we have not managed to communicate the risk of climate change that clearly. People assume that climate change is somebody else's problem. The problems are going to happen somewhere else and there isn't much we can do about it. In Kerala, we often say and we are taught that we are a small state in a big country called India. And this is true. And this is exactly what I told the MLAs and the ministers at the Kerala Assembly. That I used to believe that as well. Kerala is a small state in a big country. What can we do? Then I was discussing about this with my friends and they asked me, how many people are there in your state? And I said, 33 million people. And they said, you think it's small? You go and check the population list of the United Nations member states and see where you stand. And I checked. And there were 150 countries which had a population of less than 33 million. So we are not a small place. We are actually a very big population. You may ask, okay, maybe by population, not by size for sure. We are a very small place, 39,000 or so square kilometers. I checked that as well. And I think you should go and check. If you are to rank the UN member states by area, you will still see more than 90 countries which are smaller than Kerala. So the point I'm making is that even though we are a small state in a big country, we are still a lot of people. We still have a lot of area and there are things which we can do to improve the situation. And we can do two things and we should do two things. Number one, 
we should understand that climate change is for real and we all have to learn to prepare to deal with a changing climate you have to adapt our lives we have to adapt our houses we have to adapt our land use planning we have to adapt our employment and we can see it all over the way we will deal with our coastlines the way we, the way we will deal with our kutanad area the way we will deal with the hilly area what type of crops we would farm where we will build our houses all this will need to be redefined but we can also do things about mitigation which is about the act of reducing the amount of carbon we produce carbon is produced by fossil fuel burning and fossil fuel burning is primarily linked to our consumption the more we consume the different things we consume we produce more green greenhouse gases in kerala we are a consuming state state and most of our consumption come from goods and services coming from outside what does that mean we impose tremendous carbon footprint on our agricultural product on our construction product on our white goods so if we are serious about climate change we must act on our consumption we can achieve similar levels of happiness but by doing different things corona is a period where we have had the time to reflect we now know what is more important to us what is less important to us what is really important to us i wish we now focus on what is really important to us and we understand climate change we learn a different way of life different way of achieving happiness a more su- sustainable sustainable way a less carbon intensive way that way we contribute to the global climate change mitigation efforts but also give us more time to adapt to a changing climate thank you